Hey everyone, so welcome back to the little coding. So in today's video, we are going to build this UI right here. So let me show you what the demo look like. So it was a rating UI. And so right now when I select the number five right here, so when I select this one, there was some nice animation slightly to the left and show you the thank you page with the value that you selected. So as you can see right here. All right, so let's build this one. And for this UI, we are getting it from the front end mentor. It was a really good website to practice your front end skill. And as you can see right here, this has a, a free um, UI and then you can download and try to practice using uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript or whatever that you feel comfortable with. So for this UI right here, we're going to build it with React.js and tell in CSS. So I'm trying to build this UI right here, but I'm not trying to make it exactly almost the same as this one because some color and pixels might be a little bit different. So, but the overall UI in the same style, it was following this UI right here. All right, so as you can see right now, we adding the um, the, uh, the text and the image into this one already. So the next thing is we're gonna do some stylings and make sure it's matching, uh, following the same design. All right, so as you can see right now, we uh, do the hover and then we get this all already. So the next thing is what we're gonna do is to, when we click on this one, uh, there will be another page that is going to be, so we, that we're gonna have is, thank you, the showing page right here. And then right here, we get the value for of the five or whatever the value that user choose before. And for that, we are gonna handle it later. And then, but for now we're gonna switch, uh, we're gonna build this component and then when we click submit, we're gonna show this one. All right, so as you can see right here, so right now we have two components that we we have the form to submit and then the thank you right here. So what I'm gonna do right now is to make them side by side uh, alongside each other and hide one another. So, but when I click on submit, the, 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 this one should be gone and this one should be appear. And that will be the animation for this one right here. All right, so as you can see right here, there were two components, they were side by side. And so right now what I need to do is I need to hide this one and we don't want it to show it now unless the user click on select one of this and click on submit, we're gonna show it. And that's why I use overflow hidden. And so in order to do it side by side, I use the white space, no space, and then we're gonna do inline block right here. So as you can see for both of this one and yep, so that's pretty much it. So right now we're gonna working on setting the state for this one. And then when we submit, we're gonna transition and switch the two components. All right, so as you can see right now, we have the state pretty, pretty simple. So we have the state to hold the value when we select. So as you can see right here for each of these value. And then when we on click on this one is we're gonna have the rating value 
but and then ah i so right now we need to keep uh this rating this user selects one so right now when i select this one it doesn't indicate that which one that i have selected so we need to have to check if it was selected we need to do some styling to this one as well All right, so right now, as you can see, when we select this one, so the value is sticks to, and then we know that which value that we selected. And even though we hover it, it won't be changed. And so, yep, that's pretty much it. So right now, we need to pass those value, the rating values. Instead of four out of five, we're going to pass the real value that we get from this one. So as you can see right here. And right now, when we want to submit, we want to show the thank you page. And that's what we're going to do next. so as you can see right now we have some of our animation is started so you can see right here so what I, I click on select on number three and then when i submit uh there was some animation right here and but as you can see we have some things with this uh, image the reason is that with our image it seems uh it's switching uh since it's not reload i think let's do let's try to do let's try to do it again so you can see our image here and because i set the width right here Maybe what we can try to improve this one is by doing the fill instead of, um, of doing this one. All right, so as you can see right here, we fixed the size of the height of the image. So as you can see, we uh, do the height right here, but we can't do much better than this by using like the aspect ratio. But for now, I'm totally fine with this one. So as you can see, uh, and it worked as expected. So right now when we have this one and then we have different options and then we can rate. And let's say if I select number four, when I submit, there was some nice animation that was animated to this one. And you can see the value right here as well. And the trick to do that is really simple. So as you can see right here, we have the style to do the transform. When it's on submit, we're going to translate it uh, to 100 uh, we turn to everything to 100 minus 100 percent so it's go all the way to the left and we apply that to both of this div right here and then that's why we got this effect right here and so you can see once again and when we submit and we have this one all right so i think that pretty much it for this videos and i hope you like this one and let me know in the comments what do you think and for this code you can find it on the link in the description as well all right so see you in the next video